All right, YouTube, we're back with the continuation of my last video. The last video was a overview of the watch. Uh, now we're gonna do a quite of a deep dive for those who already have the watch. I'm gonna teach you in case you forgot or in case you question you just got it, you don't know how to use it. I'm gonna show you how to operate the, the watch itself, how to set the time, how to operate the modes and all that other jazz. So let's get started, let's go. All right guys, for starters, when you first get the watch, you have to make sure you charge it. Um, these watches do require some energy, a lot of battery consumption. Um, so it is solar powered, so make sure you expose it to the sun to make sure that you have a full charge. There is no um, indicator on the watch that tells you the battery level, but if you press the C button, so this is the C button here, if you push the button and, and you cycle through the modes, once you get back to the home time, the second hand will indicate um, if the watch is charged by either pointing to the 12 o'clock position or the um, 2 o'clock position right here. So if it points to anything other than the 12 or 2 o'clock position, for example, the 4 or 6 o'clock position, 4 and 6 means low, 12 and 2 means it's um, high battery, all right? Also, another way to do it is you look at the second hand. Notice how it's flicking, changing for every second. If you notice that the second hand is um, delayed, for example, if he goes from one second and then jumps two seconds, that's an indicator that the battery level is low. So please charge your watch prior to um, setting it up um, because, or trying to receive the signal or doing any of the operations because um, it, did, it does deplete the battery and it's not gonna function or receive a signal without a strong battery um, level. All right, so let me demonstrate here. Notice the second hand is moving around like that. I'm gonna switch it around, stopwatch, timer, alarm, and I'm gonna go back to home time, okay? And the second hand is gonna swing around. Back to home time. This is gonna point, points to 12 o'clock position, and now it's gonna go back to the regular time. That first indication there that, the, that it pointed to 12 o'clock means the battery is high level. So that's a good um, indicator that the battery or the watch is good to go. All right. All right. So now that you remember, this watch does have GPS functions and it also has um, multiband six. All right. So on the bottom here, you have the time, time in um, positioning and RC for receive. All right. So you press the beep button here to see if the watch has received the multiband six signal, atomic signal over the night. Mine says yes, so mine did receive the signal overnight. In case it says no, or your watch is maybe not accurate, or you feel like it's out of sync, you push and hold the B button to get the, to pull or manually receive a signal. So push and hold, all right, notice it says time. Now if you wait, if the time goes back like that, it's very fast, it didn't receive it, okay? If you push and hold and keep holding it, goes from time to time and position. And now it's requesting a GPS and atomic time signal to um, sync your watch to the towers. Now be mindful, very important. The watch is very sensitive to movement. So if you try to do this and you're holding the watch and you're moving it around and um, it's not gonna sync. Also, um, it's very sensitive to your location. If you're in a basement somewhere or you're, um, your view, the, the watch is obstructed by towers, some kind of interference, it's not gonna receive a signal. So it's ideal position is to put it by a window with the G-Shock facing outward towards the window uh, when an unobstructed view so that it receives the signal. Um, that's the ideal method. Um, so if you put it in the closet somewhere at night or back in the box or in a, in a drawer somewhere, you might get the signal, but it's very unlikely, all right? So the signal strength, the ideal um, positioning of the watch to get the signal strength and sync your watch is to keep it close to a window facing out, out with the G-Shock 12 o'clock position facing outward, okay? There's just there's a mental note of that. All right, you notice there the exit, it exited 
tight end position and the hands are moving back and forth, I push this button here. Notice it says no. Once again, I did not receive a signal, but that's how you operate the watch to request a uh, signal manually. Otherwise, every night it will automatically do that for you um, as you sleep. Okay. So if you're ever traveling and they tell you turn off Bluetooth, uh, turn off anything that might interfere with the pilot, um, put the watch in airplane mode. Right? To do so, you press the C button, which is down here, push and hold it until the watch beeps and the mode window um, hand points to the airplane right there. So push and hold, keep holding, keep holding, keep holding, and get to that beep function, and there you go. The hand is now pointing to the airplane mode. Your time will continue to um, circulate and keep track of time, but it's not gonna be as accurate because the airplane mode is off. Therefore, it's not gonna receive um, GPS positioning coordinates. Um, it's not gonna receive the atomic signal. So to remove it out of airplane mode, which I recommend you do that immediately after you're clear, uh, push and hold C again until you get another beep. And your watch resumes full regular operation. Uh, if you live in a country or somewhere where you don't receive the atomic signal, you'll want to manually uh, set up the time on this watch. To do so, you wanna unscrew the crown, right, until it pops out. And then you pull it out to the second position. That's one, that's the second position, all right? There, you wanna make sure you select the right time zone. In my case, I'm gonna select Chicago. Now you're gonna push and hold the C button. This is the A, B, C button. Push it for 10 seconds. Push and hold. All right, you notice the second hand points up to the 12 o'clock position. That's when you're ready to manually set the time. Once you're there, first thing you're gonna do is gonna be to move the crown and you notice that the minute hand is gonna move, okay? So if you turn it fast, it's gonna go in um, fast mode. Now you can stop it by turning it the opposite direction and spin it micro adjustments by turning it slightly. If you turn it multiple times, they will go in, in fast mode. See, I can get it going here. There you go. See that? Really fast. Turn to the opposite direction. Once you're satisfied with the time, you press C again one time. Now you're going to be looking at the second hand jump. Now you're in year, the year uh, of the year they're currently in. Now this is interesting. You have to be careful. This jumps by increments of ten, so every position is ten years. So. Uh, 2010, 2020, 2030, 2040, 2050, 2060, 2070, so forth. So we're in 2020. This would this would be 2010, 2020. All right. So this is 2020, the year 2020. All right. If you want to go to the next, press C for the the next number. There we go. So 2020 is zero. 2021. 2022, 2023, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and so forth, all right? So for 2021, I will move it to this position there. That's 2021. Remember, we just set the 20 in the last uh, settings. Now we're now in, in the one setting. So the one setting, I'm going to go back to zero because we're in 2020. Now to move forward, you want to select the month of the year by pushing C. There we go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Now we're going back, we're in September 2021, excuse me, 2020. So if you want to change that, there you go. This will be June, right? That's June, July, August, we're currently in September. Now that's September right there, okay? Next, you want to set the day, all right? So push the window again, and you see that movement right there? There we go. See how it's moving? 10. All right. We'll go fast forward as well. All right. So here's the 11th. The date is the 11th. All right. So we set the year 2020. 
All right, we say the month, September. We set the time, and now we set the date. All right, push the crown in, and your, your, your setting is all done. All right, next we're gonna show you how to align the hands. Sometimes the second minute hands, whatever, all the hands, the uh, mode button, whatever, all those windows, they get misaligned. So you have to manually align the hands by completing this function here, okay? So we wanna pull the crown out to the second position, one, two, second position. Now you want to hold, wait till all the hands stop moving. Now you want to push and hold the B button, which is A, B. This is the B button. Push and hold that button. All right, you get a beep. All the hands are going to move. You know, wait until they stop moving. They're going to point to the 12 o'clock position. That's the zero position when it comes to alignment. All right, so now you see all the hands stop. Push the uh, C button, which is the bottom left. Look at that. See how that is not aligned? There we go. Now it's aligned. See that? Want to make sure it's 12. Now push the C button again. Your mode window also pointing to true north. That's a 12 o'clock or zero position for alignment purposes. This one as well is going to point. I'm going to stop it because it's going to take forever. If it doesn't point, if it doesn't start off, I believe it's at 31 or one um, will be the zero position. There it is, the one position. Now if you turn it, all right? So say, you're, say it stops and it stops like that, that means the date window is misaligned. So you wanna get it back to the one, and you wanna make sure that it's centered on the window there. There you go, move back a little bit. All right, I think that looks pretty good. All right, press C again. And now everything is aligned. You can see which one moves. That's a date. 24 hours, the mode, and the date. All aligned, everything looks good. Happy with that, push the crown, and everything will go back to normal operation. All right, now I'm gonna teach you how to use the modes, the stopwatch, timer, and alarm, how to set that up. Once you're in the home position there, the home time, and you'll know that because your mode is pointing to the day of the week, push the C button, to change modes. Now we're stopwatch. Notice that the stopwatch window here, which is the former world time, points to zero by pointing to 24, that's zero. All right, so press A to start the timer or start, start the stopwatch. There you go. Here is gonna be counting the, the uh, seconds. 10 seconds. And then the other, the small hour window is gonna be counting the minutes. You could pause it by pressing the A button here. Or zoom again by pushing this again. There it goes. Pause it again. And you can reset it by pushing the B. You'll see that the world time window will go back to zero. There you go. And that's how you start, pause, and stop the stopwatch. Now to use a timer, press the C button, switch to timer mode. All right. Currently I have it set at five minute timer. Turn the crown to change that.
There you go. It's a 10 minute timer, five minute timer. I will do a one minute timer, okay? Just to test it. All right, I set it at one minute, push your crown in. Now start it by pressing the A button. So we got the second hand at the top counting down the one minute timer. All right, four, three, two. And the timer has stopped. You can push any button to stop the chimes. And there you go. That's how you use the timer. Now I'm gonna show you how to set up the alarm. Push the C button again to switch modes to alarm. This is your alarm window settings right there. Pull the crown out. You can set the alarm to whatever time you want it to be. Say for example, I want to set the alarm at to um, three in the morning. You want to point to the three position. This is 24 hour format. So it's, so it's two hours for every indication, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So three will be That's three in the morning, all right? Four in the morning will be the next notch over. Right there. That's four in the morning, okay? And so forth. 12 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m., 8, and so forth. That's how you set the alarm. To turn on and the, to turn the alarm on and off, once you're in the alarm mode, push the B button and you can see the second hand point to on and off. So currently it's pointing to on. If I push the B button here, you'll see that it moves the, sec the second hand to the off position. Once again, on and off. Once you're happy with your setting, push the crown in, lock it in place, and then Proceed to exit alarm and go back to regular home time keeping. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully that helped you set up your watch. If in case you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I will also leave the link to the actual manual in the description in case you want to read through some additional or if you have some questions or I didn't do a good job explaining on how to set up the watch. You can read the manual on your own and hopefully that you could uh, walk through the steps at your own pace and set up to watch. Thanks so much for watching. This is Chicago. Till next time, I'm out of here, guys. Holla to boy. Peace.